Good afternoon, and thank you for coming today. I am Admiral John Harvey, Commander of U.S. Fleet Forces, and I am here today to provide an update on the investigation into the production and broadcast of inappropriate videos on board USS Enterprise. That investigation is now complete. I have reviewed it, taken immediate actions based on its findings, and forwarded to the Chief of Naval Operations my recommendations for additional actions to be taken by the Secretary of the Navy. The investigation documented that at least 25 videos containing inappropriate scenes were produced and shown to the crew of USS Enterprise from October 2005 to December 2007. Enterprise's executive officers, as well as other officers and senior enlisted sailors, were prominently depicted in these videos, acting crudely or in sexually suggestive ways. The investigation concluded that the production and broadcast of these videos represented a significant departure from expected standards of personal behavior and professional leadership in the United States Navy. In addition, the investigation confirmed the profound lack of judgment on the part of Captain Honors, then serving as executive officer in USS Enterprise. The behavior exhibited during these EXO movie night videos violates long-standing norms of exemplary conduct required of all naval officers in public law and U.S. Navy regulations. To document the responsibility and assure proper accountability for these violations of expected standards of personal and professional behavior, I have taken the following actions. I have forwarded to the Chief of Naval Operations my recommendation that the Secretary of the Navy issue secretarial letters of censure to the following officers. Captain Owen Honors, Executive Officer, USS Enterprise for the period of July 2005 to September 2007. Captain John Dixon, Executive Officer of Enterprise for the period September 2007 to June 2009. Rear Admiral Lawrence Rice, Commanding Officer of Enterprise for the period January 2005 to May 2007. And Rear Admiral Ron Horton, Commanding Officer of Enterprise for the period May 2007 to May 2010. I have also requested that a copy of the investigation, along with a copy of my endorsement of the investigation, be placed in each of these officers' permanent military record. I have issued non-punitive letters of caution to Rear Admiral Raymond Spicer, United States Navy retired, and Vice Admiral Daniel Holloway, the strike group commanders embarked in enterprise during the ship's 2006 and 2007 deployments. And I have also requested that a copy of the investigation, along with a copy of my endorsement of the investigation, be placed in each officer's permanent military record. I have counseled Rear Admiral Gregory Nozel and Rear Admiral Clifford Sharp, the carrier air wing commander and the destroyer squadron commodore embarked in enterprise during the ship's 2006 deployment. I have issued non-punitive letters of caution to 32 officers and sailors who demonstrated deficiencies in personal behavior or professional judgment related to the production and the broadcast of the videos. It is certainly fair to ask how this series of events could happen over such an extended period of time without the key leaders aboard Enterprise taking appropriate action. The investigation determined that the problem stemmed from the fact that the executive officers of Enterprise, the officers primarily responsible for assisting the commanding officer in maintaining good order and discipline and ensuring exemplary conduct, were themselves the source of the problem. Vulgar language insensitive and sexually tinged attempts at humor such as that displayed in the Enterprise videos 
is now an everyday part of our popular culture, and endless examples can be found on cable television and in the movies. Recognizing this fact of life, some have questioned the actions I have taken thus far, and have also characterized the videos as harmless attempts to raise crew morale during a period of demanding operations. I cannot disagree with that assertion more strongly. Navy leaders are not popular entertainers, but professionals vested with extraordinary military authority who must be held to a higher standard and who must maintain their credibility in the eyes of their subordinates under the most difficult, even possibly life-threatening circumstances. Poor judgment and behavior that undermines that credibility threatens good order and discipline and, over time, jeopardizes the crew's faith in its leadership. That means we cannot simply ignore actions, such as the production of these videos, that clearly call into question a Navy leader's judgment, character, and fitness to command. To be true to our Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment, our leaders are required to ensure the well-being of our people show respect toward all, and treat each individual with dignity. Those involved in the production of these videos and those that did not take sufficient action to stop them from being produced did not meet that high standard. Our sailors are truly remarkable individuals, the finest young men and women our country has to offer, and they deserve principled leadership. These events on Enterprise were unfortunate and an aberration. Fortunately, our Navy is a learning organization, and the significant lessons learned and relearned from this investigation are already being studied, discussed, and incorporated into appropriate leadership training curricula. Thank you very much.